Good morning. Welcome to the ranch, y'all. in the middle of freaking nowhere in Granby, Colorado. And this is my family's, my family's fourth year doing this and my third year doing this because they came one year without me and I was like, that's not how this works. Where's my invite? And complain enough, you will indeed get what you want. And <laughs> we got the invite, so it's now my third year and we freaking love it. I mean, it's very intense. It's nonstop horseback riding, breakfast, ride, lunch, ride activity sleep and you just do it all over again and i got matched up with the horse for the week her name is delta the irony of delta that trying to get here to cancel flights on delta please, 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 oh my god here my horse's name is delta but it's fine it couldn't be any more opposite from my life in new york and that's really what you're looking for from a vacation so can't recommend enough. I just showered, which is why I'm all wet. Just to put on my dirty freaking hat and get all dirty again. But today is the all day ride and they packed us some sandwiches and we're just gonna go. Morning, howdy. Oh wow, like we're just that high up that we're just in the clouds. It's insane. So every horse technically has a spot in the stable, but they're never where their name says they are. So it's kind of a crapshoot. Delta, yeah. We were at odds yesterday in, um, the team penning let me just set the scene city girl goes to dude ranch once a year city girl rides horses for once a year city girl learned to ride horses at 25 like i'm not a horseback rider i'm very much a beginner and they put me on a team matched by skill level meaning that i'm the weakest link and they throw me in with other more experienced horseback riders and they tell me to steer my horse and herd cattle in front of a crowd enjoy <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Caroline, you gotta help! Is that extra point? Ready? Yeah. Thank you so much. Good. We're up. Jack has the same horse as last year, Stella. That was so graceful. I'm feeling it. Ride, yeah. Two words? Excellent ride. Hot. Hot tub. Oh, yeah, hot tub, but I gotta pay for it. The saddle. Yeah. I took off the hat, and Jack said, mm, pretty bad hat hair. Oh, yeah, he's ready to fight. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow. That's what a fighting stance. <laughs> yeah, you really don't think crawfish in Colorado, but. Call a spade a spade. That was a great ride, but a fucking journey. It started pouring halfway through, and thankfully, I only I only feel that the elevation when I'm vlogging. When like the second I talking, take the vlog camera out, I'm like. <laughs> you're talking and walking uphill. It's it's too much for a girl We're like at me. Like Eight thousand elevation, I think. Is 7, that, Are we actually? Yeah. Damn. We're high. I typically don't feel it. Like I really don't feel it in Utah. 
What about when you run up the stairs? I don't run. <laughs> oh, yesterday, yesterday I had this really bad pain, like honestly in my boob. And I must have like pulled something, but I'm probably one of the least active people you've ever known. And I was complaining about it to Jack and he's like, you probably just store something. Like I do all the time. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't do anything. Like this is, I thought I was dying. Back to what I was saying. Thankfully on the horses, like attached to the saddle, they always have slickers, like uh, rain jackets, you're always fine. Hot tub? But I'm heading inside to change, so I'll just give you a little cabin tour. <laughs> We're towards the tail end of the trip, so it's a little messy, but you gotta give it up for no stone left unturned when it comes to kitsch. Like they're really, they're just like not afraid of going all in. Every single piece of this place, it's something horse themed. Like the light switches, the art, the couch, my dad <laughs> and of course we've hoarded this is actually shameful we've hoarded all the good games just in our cabin these should be in the game room we have trivial pursuit pictionary and scrabble we shouldn't be doing that oh will you make me whatever you're making um i'm gonna make i have just one thing of ice will you make it for yourself <clears throat> <laughs> We stayed in this cabin last year, so I'm familiar, but this is really, this is my favorite piece. It doesn't get any better than this, the horse shower curtain. So this is very much family camp vibes, like every single group that comes here, because it's like the family weeks, there's also adult weeks at the end, but it's usually like parents and young kids. We're really, we're like the outliers. Like no one is really our age, except there's these two Italian sisters who are in college. They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're from Italy. Yeah. And they live in Texas. Not just Texas, Waco, Texas. And of course, we're on the boat with them. We're like, we love the show Waco. And they're like, about the tragedy? <laughs> yeah, not the way to make friends. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What are you guys doing now? We're just cleaning the driveway. Yeah. It's too glam. <laughs> it's... it's the last tour of the day. It's not bad. How are you feeling about the talent show tonight? Good. Oh. I'm ready. Than last year. Okay. Yes. Much Recycling last jokes year. or new, new yeah, stuff, new, new material. Okay. Literally camp, but it's the last night, so they're doing a staff talent show. That'll be funny. They, it's like they do SNL skits and make fun of all of the, the people on the trip. Yeah. The guests. Jack was just saying I'm an easy roast. I don't get it. Before my dad settles up and wraps up our bill, <laughs> we're heading over to the liquor store. Have you had these Happy Dads? No. They're really good. good. It kind of reminds yeah. me of um, a high noon, Ooh. but it's better. Like, I think it tastes better. Yeah. Oh I had the wild cherry the other day. There's usually, next to staff, there's a guest box, and this is how we pay for stuff. Like, there's a card for each family, and you just list out what you take, and then everything has a price next to it. This is my, you can't even fucking see me, man. You're so fired. Should I just walk with you? Yeah. Okay. This is the outfit for dinner. My dress is Betsy Johnson. We got it at Seven Wonders Collective. My necklace is from, stop fucking running. You're We're running. To run. <laughs> no, I'm joking. My necklace is from a boutique in Rhode Island. And my boots are from the Drowsy Water Ranch, y'all. Where did we get this hat in Utah? You got it with my mom. We bought it together. No, I wasn't there. But. K ka uh, what's the Kas Kawasaki store? No, we didn't get it from there. I think no. we got it from Cake. One of those places cake, in Utah. Cake, cake, cake. They're doing a little cookout for us tonight. We're That's running why late. I'm sprinting. Well, because There's they not called be for any dinner at 5 30. 5 30. And our all day ride went from, no, this is crazy, 9 45 to 4. Do we look like we're built for that? You look like you're built for that. We all know I'm not. Oh my, I'm so excited. I think he's just hanging out with him. But salad looks good. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Yeah.
try having a little photo shoot and it's going south. <laughs> this is this is when I'm my most tense. I just I know what I look like and I look like what I know that I look like on video. But the second I start taking a picture, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Who is that? <laughs> it's not my fault you decided to wear flip flops. Okay, I'll, I'll get a running start. I'm ready. Oh God, fuck. I showered before a ride yesterday and then it ended up raining and I was just freezing and of course it was like the one day that I decided to wear short sleeves and be a hero and I was just so uncomfortable so I'm not making that mistake again I'm not showering again before this ride because I'm just gonna get dirty again so I'll just shower after but my hair's kind of that's the thing about wavy hair like second day unless you like manipulate it or braid it it's gonna look like wet. I've been wetting my ends and then scrunching it with this Odell air dry styler. This is like the cheapest product that I use. I think it's like $12 and I get it at Target. Ideally, I would use like a bowl for this to wet the bottoms of my hair like really easily, but I don't have one on me, so I'm just gonna use my hands. Because if my hair's a little damp on this ride, that's no big deal, but like I was soaking wet yesterday and just like so sad and uncomfortable. Probably like a silver dollar sized dollop, a big dollop. Run that through my hair. Then a smaller dollop, and then I just use that to scrunch at the bottom. Scrunching my hair always reminds me of summer camp. <laughs> did you, like, if you went to camp, like, wasn't scrunching, like, that was, like, the only thing we ever did with our hair. And if you had side bangs in middle school, you scrunch your whole head, but you leave out the side bangs, and then you, like, straighten that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the formula. That was the recipe. But it's crazy to think that this trip is really coming to an end. It really sucks. Me and Jack were delayed. Well, our first flight was just straight up canceled out of New York. And we got there, delay, 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 cancel, rebooked, recanceled. And so we ended up missing two full days out of seven. And this isn't like the kind of vacation where it's like, oh, like I'm meeting my family in Bermuda. Me and Jack can just shift our schedules around. Like we'll stay for an extra two days. Like it's very set sunday to saturday so we can't necessarily extend and be here like we're leaving today which is why all of our suitcases are on the bed saturday today they have guests from sunday to saturday and you come kind of like sunday and like the late afternoon and they have from the early afternoon here to sunday afternoon to like flip this whole fucking place and like make it brand new again for a new group of people but mainly everyone who works here are seasonal workers because you can't like work in finance and then just say for the summer bye i'm dipping out like the job that you have when you're not here needs to take a break in order for you to be able to keep coming back here like all the wranglers that take us around with our horses and kind of teach us how to horseback ride when they're not here they work at like ski mountains during the year so they'll be here from may to october which is so long to be here go home for like thanksgiving and then from like the peak season like holiday season through early spring they'll be at ski mountains and that's their life, back and forth, back and forth. It's insane. But I say it's insane because it's just like different for me. Like they probably look at our lives and how we do the same thing 365 days a year and think that that's insane because it is. I don't know, like being around these people and coming here just like reminds you that like there's no set path. And like what you know and where you've grown up is not the only option. There's just so much more out there. You just have to look for it. There's a kid here who's like 16 who has been coming here his whole life and he lives in Idaho and his family are farmers and we were sitting with him in the hot tub and he just, he's so knowledgeable and like knows so much about farming and I could not fathom that he was 16 and he was talking to us where it's frustrating because people look at farmers in America and think of it like in comparison to like 
corporate life and like ugh, like that's the easy way out we're like not at all it's actually a lot harder and there's actually so much more to know rather than like working in marketing in new york just like being here reminds you that every single job has its own like skill set and like world of things to know and like no one is better or smarter than one another like my dad who is such a brilliant man could not drop in here and do what they do but this is like true like when you quotation america like this is this is america it's not the life that i live in new york and it really makes me want to see more of the country traveling in the u.s i really haven't been to that many places the most like out there city that i've been to is probably here or tulsa oklahoma where i went for like a jewish wedding and didn't like really experience the city everyone out here was talking about montana in Wyoming and I'm dying to do that but if you're interested in dude ranches like this is not the only option there's so many dude ranches out there but this one is definitely geared more towards families they have adult week but we've never done it obviously because we come here for family vacation to be with my dad's young kids and it's so special but I'm so curious like what it would be like to be at a place that's like geared towards adults but back to what I was saying before about like the lane that you choose for jobs I think a lot of people especially online like on Pinterest glamorize like a soft life or like living on a farm and like being here and seeing how much fucking manual labor and like how much goes into it I think we're living the soft life like we're living the soft life in the cities because this is not a soft life but I wore short sleeves on the ride yesterday I'm not, not making that mistake again because I hate being the one who's complaining and I couldn't stop complaining yesterday because I was fucking freezing I was freezing and also my horse this year my horse's name is Delta She's a little bit of a wild one. She's a little crazy. Last year, for the honestly, for the past two years, I was riding this horse, Ledoux, who's just, like, such a smooth ride and, like, knows what to do and has been here for a long time where, like, I didn't really have to steer or, like, do, any, do anything. He just knew what to do. Especially for loping, which is, like, the running that they do. If you and your horse are not in sync, it's going to be a rough ride and you're going to hurt yourself. Well, it's been, it's been a rough ride with Delta. <laughs> I feel like we're finally getting our groove on like the last day. We don't horseback ride outside of being here so every time I come here I'm so rusty and we were two days late and I literally showed up and the first day of horseback riding was like okay like loping day and I was like fuck. Like I, I'm, I wasn't even warmed up yet like me and my horse hadn't even vibed yet. You know when your hair doesn't scrunch right and it's just like bing. For long sleeves I have a few options. I have this custom shirt that I got from oddly you can get basically like any word on like a t-shirt tank anything they're so fun it's also it's a nice like it's a thicker shirt like the feeling between this shirt and this shirt is so different very well made and then i have this lisa says god little bow long sleeve that i got at buffalo exchange or honestly just because it's a morning ride we're only going until like noonish i might do a sweater i've worn the sweater like three times since i've been here I got it at the Goodwill Bins, which if you haven't been, it's such an insane, intense experience. Like, I wouldn't go if it was warm out, if you weren't fed, if you weren't caffeinated, if you hadn't taken a shit yet. Like, it's you need to be all in with your focus. You buy secondhand clothing by the pound there. And I got so much stuff. I think I got, like, 10 pieces for $50. It's insane. This vintage Talbot sweater. It's such a good one. I think I'm going to do this one. So yummy. You Like, you know when you have a sweater that sweaters? And I love that it's not quite a turtleneck, but it has, like, a little mock going on so you feel extra cozy. I've tried wearing tighter jeans, and I've tried wearing looser jeans while riding. I actually prefer a jean that's a little more fitted up top because I just feel more secure. Like, in a weird way, I feel safer. <laughs> but I love these roll of jeans. They're really comfortable. It's not quite a boot cut, but... It's fitted up top and it has a little bit of a wide leg. Okay, the lip combo. Let's see. I don't know if I have good light here. Oh, yeah. The lip combo is hitting. It's Wherever Walnut. Oh, Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut. The Kosas Wet Sticks in Heat Wave. And then a little bit in the middle, I did the Cali Ray SoCal Super Bloom. This is like their lip and cheek tint. It's like, and we're ready to go. Last ride. How are we feeling? Feeling good. The blessing in disguise. It's the last ride. Yeah, you're feeling it. I'm ready for a burger. Get on the road. Is it going to be a cookout today? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hamburgers and hot dogs and baked beans outside. Get in the car. Drive to Denver. Well, we're making a stop at that country store, Grand right? Grand Mountain Sports. Every year they stop at Grand, Ma at Grand Mountain Sports. Grand Mountain Sports. Grand Mountain Sports. <laughs> Grand, Grand Mountain, Mountain Sports. <laughs> Land Houghton ah! Shorts. We can never make it because we're always rushing, but the benefit of this year is we messed up and we booked our flight out for Sunday when we actually, like, we're done here on Saturday. It's a blessing in disguise because we get to go to Denver 
and have lunch with our cousins and see some of his friends from college. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's dinner, but that's okay. Did I say lunch? Yeah. All right. You know, Delta, we really did figure it out in the end. She's been a good girl. She's been a good girl. She ha we had a sassy phase. Yes. I feel like she, that is on par. Well, because she's a pretty girl and she knows it. And her best friend is Diva. And I'm like, there's, oh, really? There's no way you can be, have normal attitude. Yeah, they're a, right, girl? they're a wicked twosome. That ride and the one yesterday were my two favorites of the trip. Yeah, yesterday yeah. was my favorite. Yeah, well, cause it's like the further you get in, the more comfortable you are, the better the rides are. But also, those are just like really, I love like the green trails. Backing up, cook out and go. One, two, three, and we're ready to go. God, this went by so fast. It's like the longest week, but the shortest week. And I swear, like saying bye to everyone, like saying bye to the staff, it feels like last day to camp. Always. Always. We have to do it every week. Every week. The traps are killer. Are they Urban Outfitters could never boot heaven. Holy shit. These red ones are cool. Yeah. I feel like these. Guess the price on these? 209. You saw. No fair. They're 210. Yeah. No, it's definitely something. <laughs> you're you're back in New Orleans with that one. That thing loaded. <laughs> so tell us about your stance on gun control. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the thing is, you look eerily natural in all this Western wear. <laughs> like, in a past life. Mm-hmm. What is in this? Moose poop. It's peanut butter, Reese's, chocolate chips, marshmallows, chocolate syrup, and chocolate ice that cream. That looks so good. This reminds me of Team Methodism too, with the Murtaugh's across the lake. Also, this coffee is very This is so cool. Quickest turnaround of our lives. But we're going to, the restaurant is Safta in Denver, and we're gonna have some drinks and dinner with my cousins, and then we're coming out. No, I'm not, I kid you not, we walk in, and our friend just moved here from New York. He just relocated to Denver, so it's so weird to be like, hey, hey. he lives here, hey. We walk in, he goes, this is the night of the summer, AKA, he hasn't really gone out since he's fully moved in, so this is, this is welcome week. This is a big night for him. We're ringing the summer in. <laughs> Summer, it's, summer. It's, it's be naughty. What's be naughty? Best night of the year. Oh. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Can I like pitch myself? Yeah. Ben Savage, virtual employee, living in Rat now. <laughs> We're like nature. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you gonna get? Okay, last night was a fever dream. We went to this bar. It's called Milk Bar. It honestly, it was like the quality of a frat house. Like it looked like a frat house inside, but it had like, I'm not even kidding you, four stories. And every single room has a different DJ and a different vibe. Like there was like an 80s room. There was a game room. It was fucking ridiculous. It's definitely the kind of place that I wish I'd pre-gamed a little harder before going, but so, so, so fun. And then we went to a really like a completely different vibe shift like a really nice cocktail bar after that had really interesting drinks. I got an Old Bay Martini. I couldn't drink it. Like it really, it really tasted like Old Bay, but like three sips was enough for me. So I had to get some help. And then I fell asleep on Jesse's roof as everyone bonfire and it's now 10 AM. You know, when you sleep at someone's house and you wake up late and you feel guilty, I'm like, oh, I just like wasted your whole day. Quick rally. Cause we're going to go get some brunch. And then we kind of have to head to the airport and like, two hours and then Denver's done and we're in Utah. Wedding venue shopping. Like looking at venues in Utah is that I feel like it's something that I've been talking about doing for months and now that it's here, I don't know how to act. Like it makes my wedding feel very, very real because the wedding isn't real until you have a venue. And then once you have a venue, you're off to the races, like you're having a wedding. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.